Oh my God, this nickname is so cute. Clam Cake 14. You guys have the cutest usernames. Um, ask me, why do you always talk about penis and dildos in your videos? Well, girl, you can't say happiness without penis. And that's all I really have to say about that. So, penis equals happiness. And you can't say happiness without penis. Um, next question is, would you ever change to date a guy? Um, if you can't tell by the rest of my videos, there's no change in me. <laughs> like, my family's tried. You know, there's been a lot of medications involved. Like, I'm Britney circa 2007, except I'm not shaving my head. Because this shit is all Remy and it costs too much. That bitch was crazy when she shaved her head, but I still love her. You either take me as I am or watch me as I go. That's just how I feel. If you can't accept me, I don't need you in my life. It's that simple. The next question is, Johnny Boy, how do you feel about your haters and all of the hate websites that talk about you? Um, honestly, I feel like everybody has haters. If you don't have haters, you ain't doing shit. But um, to be serious about it, um, I really don't care what, you know, blogs and people say about me and all that stuff. When they say stuff about me that isn't true, that's what really pisses me off. Because I'm the type of person that I will tell you up front how it is, how I feel, like what's pissing me off. Just, you know, I'm not that type of person that'll sit there and be like, oh, that didn't happen to me. No, that was me. Haters gonna hate and haters are my motivators. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, so next question is, Johnny Boy, how do you deal with people who don't agree with your lifestyle slash your past? Um, I'm not really sure what you mean by my past, but I'm gonna guess because, you know, my transition and stuff like that. Um, I feel like it's my life. Um, I make my own choices. I make my own mistakes and I learn my own lessons and I don't feel like it's anybody else's business. I feel like people should focus on their self and how they're living their life instead of what I'm up to. I mean, I never understood the haters that like tell me to go kill myself and stuff like that because it's like, first of all, no matter if you don't agree with like the whole LGBT community, like telling somebody to kill themselves is really taking it too far. And and I feel like with all of like the gay suicides and stuff that's going on right now, I feel like people should learn lessons from stuff like that, but apparently not. But um, but honestly, I wouldn't change a thing about my past because it made me who I am today. And you know, you just have to move on and go with it. Okay, next question is, Johnny Boy, how do you feel about your YouTube fame? Okay, well, first of all, I don't really consider myself famous. I consider myself popular to an extent that, you know, I don't have to work a regular job. Like, I'm a recording artist, you know, I act, I model, and YouTube was my start. And my message was always to work for a cause and not an applause, and I feel like that's what my message is to people like I feel like I want to change the world and show that you know transgenders you know gay guys everybody like can be mainstream and there can be you know a transsexual pop superstar in the future and and I'm a strong believer that what's between my legs doesn't define me and so I knew that I always wanted to work towards you know acceptance in that way but yeah honestly um I always looked at YouTube as I've said in interviews I've looked at YouTube as a place to vent and a place where I could go to say how I felt about, you know, something that happened in my day, homophobia, like what things people have said to me. And I never looked at it as, oh, this is going to get me famous. Like, this is going to make me money. Like, I seriously never looked at it like, okay, this is going to be my job when I'm 21 years old. I, I did it strictly because it made me feel better. And it was a place for me to talk and people would listen. And, you know, that's just... It just happened. But one thing that I will say is success is like pregnancy. You have a lot of people around you that will congratulate you, but they don't know how many times you were fucked to actually achieve your success. And that's what I tell a lot of people. And you know, it gets really hard, but you just have to hang in there and I just go with the flow and whatever happens, happens. And I'm just that type of person. I just sit back and, you know, I, I do me. And if people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. You know, move on next chapter. <laughs> Johnny boy, why are guys so annoying? Bitches be crazy. And by bitches, I mean guys. And by crazy, I mean dumb as fuck. Like really dumb as fuck. And you have a small penis. Baby dill pickle status. It ain't cute. Okay, so the last question is, why are you always screaming in your videos? Um, I just honestly can't tell you how many times in one day I just wanna smack the fuck out of somebody for acting so stupid. 
whether it be, you know, a homophobe, a redneck, just or just overall somebody that is so retardedly dumb and inaccurate with stuff that they say. Like, like two of the presidential candidates and the fucking Chick-fil-A people. Like, Chick-fil-A donating $2 million to anti-gay campaigns. Bitch, you know what I gotta say to you, Chick-fil-A? You ain't shit. KFC's been running it since 2003, since I've been supporting them. So go ahead, nobody wants to eat your chicken anyway. KFC all day, motherfucking every day. Fuck you, Chick-fil-A. And I can honestly say I've never eaten Chick-fil-A. I don't cheat on KFC, so how's that? I know people been tweeting me all week asking me how I feel about Chick-fil-A, you know, donating against gay marriage and stuff like that. And all I gotta say is, bitch, KFC's been running it, okay? So you need to back it the fuck up. Who the fuck is Chick-fil-A? KFC all day, motherfucking every day, H-Town. What? But anyway, to answer your question, I don't really know. So I'm just gonna go with the one word that always comes to mind. And that's chicken. Or penis. Or ranch. Chicken penis ranch. Let's just make it one word. Chicken, chicken penis ranch. Chicken penis ranch. Chicken penis ranch. That's sexy. <laughs> Alright, bye guys, I love you. I'm at the top, ain't coming down Say what you want, but I run this town Show you bitches how I got my crown Three, two, one, let's count it down Catch your mother by the shit with the beer I'll be on the IDG, on the ears The crowd is pumped and we're getting loud Three, two, one, let's count it down